All right, guys, so today we're, we're doing a little video. Uh, we're still at Mary's mom and dad's place as our house is still getting ready for you fine folks. And we're shooting actually today, a little different. We're actually shooting today with the uh, little Sony ZV-1, ZV-1. Again, I don't know how you say it. Uh, because all the other cameras and all the other stuff is at the new house uh, getting ready uh, as we're slowly unpacking. But uh, our bed and our furniture hasn't arrived yet. So we come back here at night, which is great. Um, and usually go out during the day, but Mary's at work, so I'm staying here today and I figured I'd shoot something while I'm kind of blowing some time. So today we're going to look at, we're going to look at this right here, this. Yeah, this is the SanDisk 2 terabyte Extreme. should probably get my screen recording going here for you guys. It's the SanDisk 2 terabyte Extreme SSD. Now, this is the uh, next generation, they call it. Next generation up to 1,050. Uh, and that's kind of the reason I want it. I have a whole bunch of SSDs myself already. But a few things, uh, you know, when you get, especially a Mac computer, it doesn't really matter, but uh, on the new Macs, like the internal solid state drives are so fast. And when you plug in an external, just a standard solid state, so I have ones by Adata and I have ones by uh, Samsung, et cetera, et cetera. And they're good, but you're usually getting anywhere from about 400 um, megabytes, megabytes, megabits, megabytes, megabytes uh, per second to 500, 500 and change. And when you're working and editing, uh, speed can become a real issue. Uh, so the faster is better, especially when you're rendering and just because it's a lot of just weight, right? So this guy, again, ready? I'm, I'm loving this this product feature. This is the big reason, right? See how it just, boom, locks on with that? Uh, that's going to be good. It's going to be good. Anyways, that's the reason I got this is because of the actual uh, speed and the fact that it's two terabytes. So the, the biggest one that I have right now, solid state, is a single terabyte. So this should be good. All right, we're going to crack this open plug it into my computer, and uh, do a quick speed test. Plus, we want to see what comes in the box. All right, coming up. All right, my friends, so as you can see, I bought this here on uh, June 21st, so a couple, couple weeks ago. Um, but finally, it's time for me to open it up. And just realize when you kind of go to this product, if you guys are looking at one of these as well, on the bottom, not only does it show down here, like this, this storage right here that you can get, but right, new generation, old generation. And it's there's a difference in that speed. Because when I first looked at it, I was like, oh, that price is really good. And then I realized it was the old generation. So I don't want that, I wanted the new one. Uh, you can get these in 500 gigs, one, two, and four terabytes, uh, not, super inexpensive so just kind of be aware of that like when you jump up to the four terabyte version right now unavailable all right i don't know but i think you're gonna like you'll probably jump up to about five six hundred dollars so just kind of be aware of that that's canadian um so uh speed all right so here we go two terabytes like i said on the back a whole bunch of whole bunch of whatever nobody cares right portable ssd all right let's see Got my kitchen knife. Yeah, because again, everything's at the house. What comes in this thing? So we get, we get, so that's a nice size. So there it is, you guys can see that, right? That's it right there. Uh, nice size. I like that it has this, it's kind of like a, you can put like a, like a carabiner on there if you wanted to, to kind of carry that around if you so choose to. And it's got a little, Looks like it's like it's small and it's well built. I like that, right? You guys can see that there. You know, very cool. It's super nice. And what else do you get? You get a little tiny manual right there. There's your manual. Uh, plug it in, right? That's what kind of what you do. It's a fold out, fold outy type manual like this. Nothing, nothing on the back. Just so you guys are aware. Everything on the front. Um, the fonts on this, maybe you can see that. Nobody's reading that. 
I don't know who they figure is going to be able to read that, not with without a without like a camera and taking a picture of it and zooming into it. Nobody's reading that. I would have loved to have seen that be legible. You know, not that it's a big deal. And last but not least, you get your cables. So you do get. Uh, it's kind of nice actually. They give you a USB C to USB C cable, which is perfect for me on a MacBook and most most of us on current Windows machines will have a USB C port. But they also give you. You guys see that there? It's just tape there. It's a USB C to USB A adapter. So if you need an adapter, they throw it in, which is good because if you're spending you know three four hundred dollars on a hard drive and you can't physically plug it in, that's that's gonna suck. So I like that they. They, they give you that. That's cool. Now, I wish they would give you a bigger cable because that's that's super tiny. All right, let's just bring my computer down here. And we're going to minimize this. This just plugs in the bottom. Yep. And that's going in my computer. Should pop up right away. Uh, I don't know what the format is. My guess is it's probably going to be FAT32. No. Probably uh, EX fat, which is my hope. So there it is right there, the extreme SSD. So let's just see. Is it, yeah, X fat. Perfect, that's kind of what I want it. X fat is good. That's a great format for both us Mac users and Windows users. So you can move it between platforms if you so choose. So we're gonna bring up, first off, Black Magic here. And we're going to choose, select target drive. So let's go to that extreme. I'm excited to see what happens here. Extreme, open, ready, start. So right, I'm getting 740-ish. Read, I'm getting, am I gonna get to 700? So not quite as fast as I was hoping. They're, they're saying peak at about you know, peak at about a thousand. I'm getting close to around the 700s on both. So just over 700s. It's funny because I'm, I'm actually getting faster in writes. So 740 writes and reads are six, 680. Definitely faster and definitely faster than my, my standard solid states because my standard solid states that I have, the previous ones like the A data and the Samsung, anywhere from around 400 to around 500. So definitely quicker for sure. And it's gonna have no no problems working with all my stuff. Uh, but let's let's try another one here, just so you guys see here. Yeah, so this is the Aja system test. I think we can kind of go in here and pick that extreme as well, open. Okay. And system disk test, yep, let's start. See what kind of speeds we're getting here. So same idea. About right, we got a little faster with the Black Magic. So this one's coming in. It says six six thirty seven. All right, just waiting. You know, six thirty eight is kind of where it's peaking or sustaining, I guess. That's the right speeds and read. We get fat. Well, we peaked faster. Well, we're getting closer to about. We're getting. Oh, we broke 800 on the read. Really weird, hey, how the, the Azure one here is getting faster reads with a little bit slower writes, but that read is getting closer to the 1,000. 830, 840 we got versus 638. And on the Black Magic, we kind of got it the other way around where the writes were physically faster than the reads. Anyways, uh, definitely faster than the other ones, the other drives that I have, so that's good. Uh, two terabytes should give me lots of storage. Uh, not getting the uh, 1050 that they were claiming, at least for me, but still plenty fast. All right, guys, that's a, that's a quick look at what comes in the box with the new SanDisk uh, SSD. This is the SanDisk two terabyte extreme portable SSD, uh, up to 1050. I got close to about 850, so still good, still good. All right, my friends, if you are interested in picking one of these up uh, and you feel like supporting our channel here, uh, we have the Amazon links down below. Uh, definitely helps uh, us and uh, definitely one of the fastest external SSDs that I currently own at this point. All right, my friends, I'm going to leave you there. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. Uh, we are releasing, we usually release videos like daily, but because we are moving into a new home, 
they're a little more uh, spread out right now. Just kind of be aware we're doing them when we have time. Once the studio is reset back up, we'll get back to that regular scheduled programming. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, see you next video. Later.